Now. Welcome to Australia, if okay. we may say so. Uh, hey, listen, there's all sorts of stuff that we have seen you do. But what do people mention the most before I mention the one that I found the most extraordinary? A lot of people do ask me to do crazy things with their mobile phones. Yeah. Um, which I've, you know, I try to refrain from damaging anyone's phones. That's not a good idea. Um, walking across the River Thames was one of the biggest things I've ever done. Mm. And more recently, you might have seen me taking public transport in my own special way. Yes, because by standing outside the bus and just resting your arm on the top. Uh, we are expecting it. Have you got a little something for us this morning? Yeah. Uh, me, uh, Dynamo? I've got Come some out. cards right here. Yeah. Um, I want both of you together to create one playing card. Right, okay. So if, if you were to choose a suit mm -hmm. and just name it out loud. Oh, it's a spade. Uh, no, 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 it's a suit. Oh, spade. Spade, yeah? yeah? Now, I mean, if you choose what card that is, so it could be the ace of spades, or it could be the six, or the five, or the king. The jack. Like. The jack. So the mm. jack of spades, do you agree yeah. that's been made at random? Yes, I suppose mm. certainly. Because I actually have a prediction mm. in this deck. You can see it's still inside the box. Yeah. I'm going to move it slowly. Yes, he's pulling mm. the cards out. And right there is one card I turned over. Yes, is all cards are right, one way up except for one card. And it's for... Jack of Spades. It's the Jack of Spades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, right. Uh, we've got to say that's rather impressive, is it not? <laughs> you, you, you standing up to do more, or are you standing yeah. up to put... Yeah, right. Uh. You see this? It's a 20 cent, is that right? 20 cent piece. <laughs> Watch. Yeah. He just made it fly up from the bottom hand to his top hand, um, defying the laws of gravity. Hmm. And now it's disappeared. What I don't understand is, and, and, and I may not understand enough of your career, why are you not in Las Vegas making a million dollars a week? There's some amazing ones out there. But I saw David Copperfield. He's yep. still got it. Um, I think the great magic trick was getting Claudia Schiffer. <laughs> De definitely. Mm. Yeah, even I can't work that one out. But yeah, there's um, been a lot of... Who do you rate? Who, who's the best in the world? Copperfield's definitely up there. He, you know, in his heyday, he, he was untouchable. And, and the guy... He owns an island because of magic. Right. You know, when you I own an island, that would be, you know... When but, you, but, but are you Vegas bound? Are you going to head for Vegas? I think when I'm older, right now I like the fact that I get the luxury of travelling the world and getting to meet different people, you know, and you've got to kind of do it while you're young, I think. So I think, give it, you know, five years' time, maybe I might think of taking a Vegas, like, residency. What but, but being a magician yourself, are you able to work out how Copperfield does his tricks? Interesting. Some of them, some of them baffle me completely. I watch like you guys and I'm just as amazed. But I kind of like that when I watch magic, I want to be impressed. You know, it's, I always have my theories and probably have a slight advantage over working stuff out more than the average person. But I still, you know, I, I don't, I'm not them, so I don't necessarily know how they've done it.